Hello there, this is Ben Selstrom. I'm just going to show you really quickly how to replace a ballast or how to fix a fluorescent light that isn't working even once you've replaced uh, the existing bulbs with new ones. So most likely the cause is going to be the ballast and so we are going to take this one apart and I'll show you what that looks like. They just pulled out of here. They look really good and the ends are not burnt at all so I know that these bulbs are good the the ballast cover right here in the middle and this particular style of light is pretty simple to disassemble you just have to squeeze it and pop it down off like that and do this one-handed and there we go we got them all popped off there and we'll just slide this off here there we go so once you've confirmed that the ballast is indeed bad by putting new bulbs in and trying them you want to go ahead and just get the information off of here I actually took the phone and scanned this barcode with my Amazon app and I found a replacement really quickly. Or you could search this number here on Google and you should be able to find a direct replacement for the ballast that you have. So get that ordered and then we'll time travel until it comes via Amazon Prime. The ballast has arrived. It was like uh, $18 or something with free two-day shipping. This is a Philips version and I'm going to go ahead and get this opened up here and we'll just throw it in real quick. You're going to want to make sure there's no power. This is a non-contact electrical tester. They're about $10 at Walmart. So you press the button far away from it and then you bring it closely to something. That means it tells you that there's electricity there. The lights are now off and so we're going to confirm that there's no power here and put this up here and it is no longer beeping like it was before. So we are good to go. Okay, we can leave the ground there because that's grounded to the frame here. And we'll just take these two off of here. And voila. So now we're gonna go ahead and clip these wires. So these wires are wired in really good here on these ends, so we don't want to mess with that. So we're just gonna clip them further back here and then we'll tie them in with wire nuts. So go ahead. Cut that. Okay. And same thing is true over here. The new ballast has the same color coding, so it'll be really easy to swap it in and cut those off. Now there's just one Phillips screw here, and then this side just slides in, so we will just thread that out real quick. All these wires are color coded already. And the ends of the wires are already stripped back, so they are ready to go. So we'll just strip these and then connect a light color for light color and put wire nuts on them and we'll be ready to try it out. Just wanted to speed this up so that you didn't have to watch me do this all painfully slow, but just get them all wired up and you're ready. Installed here and we've got the ends nicely uh, tucked up here where you just have to put the cover back on. But before we do that, we're going to make sure it works. So, Johan, can you go turn on that light for us? This light? That one, yep, yep. Okay, so Johan got the light turned on and we are set to go. Before we didn't have it working, but now it is, so we're just going to put it back together here. That's how you replace the ballast on a fluorescent light like this. 